In 2010, Belgium takes over the presidency of the European Union. Sharing of data between embassies would increase, especially with NATO and the EU. But the network infrastructure is aging. At the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Head of Operations Jörg Lienartz is responsible for upgrading the system, and it has to be done fast. I'm sure that we were in the same situation like many organizations whose network has been growing over the years, and then it suddenly becomes clear that it doesn't fit for purpose anymore. Things had to change, and we needed outside assistance. In just six months, the Belgian Ministry of Foreign Affairs needs to connect 140 embassies and secure them to military-level accreditation. Ahmed Akbib is the head of the Orange Team who provided support to Jörg Lienartz in this challenge. We had to implement something like eight embassies per day, which is huge. So we set up a kind of war room in Brussels. We built a team of 20 people. We knew that the implementation of the global network in only six months would be challenging. A challenge in countries where engineers put their lives at risk. As the project progressed, challenges arose that we could never have anticipated. In Afghanistan, the Orange Field Engineer had to be escorted to the site for the satellite antenna installation by NATO troops. Yet Kabul is actually not the hottest point on the map. Cuba is a bigger issue. Over here, the authorities have totally locked the telecommunication sector. The custom officials are still holding the antenna. At the airport, the new antenna is blocked. They refuse to let some 500 kilograms worth of equipment through customs. Pressure is mounting. Failing would cost Belgium more than 2 million euros. We are a bit worried because we are two days from the deadline. Their only solution, to recycle the old antenna based in Havana. The antenna is seven years old and also the signal is weak. This is the moment of truth. Ten p.m. Brussels time. The war room team is ready. In Havana, the field engineer has started repointing the antenna towards Europe. Nothing on the screens. Cuba can't connect with the satellite until. We finally respect the deadline, but we had still to implement the, fire, the, the definitive antenna. That's what happened uh, one month later. As a result, we have implemented a very complex global deployment with no disruption to end user. We implemented planned changes at 140 sites in 100 countries in just six months.